Africa loses about 15 to 20 percent of the rice harvest because they don't know what to do. Secondly, even if it has been harvested, it is badly managed, and therefore these losses affect the food capacity for Africa. It also affects the income for the farmers directly. So it's an area that must be solved so that Africa can at least be competitive. A major component of this is the benefit it will give to the women because it's women who cook. And once women are taught how to cook and handle rice products well, it means they can get more revenue. And because of that revenue, they can look after their families much better. And as a member of the Transformation Committee for Africa, it is a, a very interesting and a noble task because I think sharing experiences and talking to the policymakers will make a big change uh, to all of us. The policymakers inclusive because after all, we import over 7 million tons of rice a year. And if we can start solving that and people eating more because they can grow better, it solves the problem. We have also selected the rice development hubs where we we're working in and these hubs, this notion of hubs we was welcomed because it will enable us to be able to make our impact felt on the local population that are involved in rice uh, uh, activities we will have to feel uh, the impact of this project in the field. For 2012-2013 activities we have already done so much and um, for example, we have done experimental auctions, which, which, was, which was intended for us to elicit consumer preferences for different rice. We have been able to develop an improved parboiling system, which we have named it a, a uniformly steam distributed parboiling system that produces high quality rice. And that, that was the rice that we used for experimental auction. And from that study, we were able to see that uh, women who tested the rice, who looked at it, gave it a very high score. In one of the main activities is going to be work on screening of um, about 1,000 um, Oryza glaberma varieties for their starch properties and also their digestibilities. We would also be doing work on byproduct utilization, the utilization of rice um, straw, rice husk, rice bran in the development of useful products. Attempts would also be made to produce um, charcoal or biochar from some of these products. We have also, together with our national partners, finalized a questionnaire for a diagnostic study on the post-harvest systems in the eight project countries, and these will be implemented and analyzed in the coming year. Finally, though, we would start doing work on the development of new rice-based products from lower quality um, rice. Et ça fait le compte parce que nous on travaille sur la chaîne de valeur riz et que le programme cultivage qui sont en train de dérouler à l'intérieur de ce projet, c'est quelque chose vraiment où les femmes de mon groupement trouvent beaucoup, beaucoup d'engouement par rapport au système de tuvage. Le seul problème qu'ils avaient, c'était par rapport au problème d'énergie. Mais on voit que le programme SIDA prévoit de, mettre, de créer des, des fourneaux avec l'utilisation de la biomasse, c'est-à-dire le, 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 la balderie qui est perdue, qui c'est beaucoup de, de, de matière qui est perdue, qu'on n'a pas valorisée. Donc ça va permettre aux femmes de lever la principale contrainte qui était le problème d'énergie. Parce que vous savez, le tuvage, il faut utiliser beaucoup de bois et que nous, notre organisation, ces femmes environnement et développement, on ne voudrait pas déforester pour l'étuvage. La main activité que nous voulons faire est un diagnostic survey pour le post-harvest et le marketing, l'information, la générale. Donc, ce travail, nous avons les outils qui sont utilisés pour tous les pays d'Afrique Rice. Nous avons collecté les données de Rice Millers, de farmers et de traders in the in the, in the project area which is northern Uganda. The other activity which we have initiated is training of scientists um, on post harvest handling and processing of rice. Um, we have made the curriculum and then the draft training materials were prepared. However we are going to share this information with the other seven countries which are remaining we are going to make one uniform curriculum and one uniform 
the uh, material. Most of the um, domestic, domestic, domestic rice produced in the country, when you look at it in terms of quality, compare it with the rice that is imported, you can see at least um, significant differences. For that being the case, most of the consumers that consume rice go in for Im uh, imported rice. So the introduction of this particular project to improve the quality of local rice, I would say, is a step in the right direction. Overall, things went very well, although uh, many of them have uh, difficulties in implementing their activities, but this was expected since it was uh, the first year of uh, uh, the implementation of uh, the project. So we have talked about uh, the work plan that we will do for the 2012-2013 uh, year and uh, we expect to have uh, more outputs from them since uh, many things will be adjust, many organizational problems will be adjust to help them uh, achieve very good results during next year. Uh, everybody is happy. SIDA has recognized the effort uh, Africa has and the nurse are doing. One aspect which is uh, good to point out is we see that methodology. We have to work on the RBM result. You know, RBM is result-based management where you have two tools, the PMF and the logic model, which will tell you what are the outputs, which indicator you are looking for, and how are you achieving that activity, and how will be the result. Uh, the project seems to be moving very well. People are very satisfied with the, the pace of the project. Uh, there are, as expected, um, some issues that need to be worked out in terms of uh, getting um, some of the activities done and done on time. Um, some members or some countries are moving a little bit more than expected and then some other uh, countries need to catch up. Uh, some countries have already started doing the baseline surveys and uh, the, some of the equipment design and uh, implementations of uh, some of the designs we have already are um, on stream. So I am uh, very positive that we will be able to meet um, the outcomes that we have set um, in the project.